What's up, guys? DJ Saint from HoopPro.com again, bringing you uh, the first of the 2011 Freaks Blend Off competition uh, reviews for the flavors, the final 10. Um, these are obviously going to be really unbiased, just honest reviews, uh, because I literally only know one of the blends to the person. I forgot all the rest, and I haven't looked them up just for this reason. Uh, but how this is going to work, or at least how mine are going to work, is I'm going to pick a random flavor from my box. I've mixed them all up, spun the box around, kept mixing them. So I know where none of the flavors are. I don't know where they are in the box. I'm going to pick one at random, pack them in my bowl. I already got coals on. So as soon as the bowl's ready, the coals will be ready. Um, and yeah, we're just going to do a straight, unbiased review of it. Alright, so the lucky first pick is... Very Creamy. Now, uh, I'm going to be using my uh, Crown Classic V2 because it actually works really well for the Kuhuka. Um And my Vortex Bowl is really dirty right now. And I'll get to a smell in just a bit while I'm waiting for the bowl to heat up. So my coals are already ready, so all I've got to do is spoil it, poke the holes, and uh, put the coals on, and then uh, while the bowl is heating up, I'll, like I said, I'll go over the smell, and uh, the cut is obviously the normal hoop 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 freak cut, but um, for you guys that don't know about the contest or just joining Hookah Pro, what it is is uh, I think this is the second year that Sahara Smoke has done this. They uh, asked the great community of Hookah Pro to design a brand new flavor for their line of shisha called Hookah Free, or uh, tobacco, I'm sorry, called Hookah Free. And the winner not only gets a personal blend, as I think this year it's the 26th or 27th flavor, but they also get a lot of good prizes. I think this year they get uh, the Vulcan Hookah, which is just a massive, monster, very nice looking hookah. And I think they also get either an Xbox or PS3. So, uh, some great prizes. I'm kind of sad my blend didn't get in. But, um, I'm really excited to try all of these. Right. Put the coals on. cover on just let it heat up yeah uh, like I said this is gonna be on very creamy um, I don't remember who made this but uh, it smells pretty nice you know um, I know with hookah freak sometimes uh, smells can be really deceiving like at least I know for their uh, their old recipe of vanilla mojito it smelled really really weird but it actually tasted really really nice so but this actually smells really good. I can smell like the creaminess that's supposed to be in there, and I can smell the the berries. Um, so I don't know exactly what's in it. Um, I can look that up and see. But uh, but yeah, I'm gonna be smoking out of my uh, Darwish Syrian uh, again with the Crown Classic V2, uh, heavy duty foil, two Canara coals, and uh, my new hose. And so I know the clouds probably won't be that big quite yet, but um, let's see how the flavor is, because that's what really counts in this one. Oh, before I start, um, how I'm going to rate this is not only with a number scale, um, but also on the name and on how marketable I personally feel it is, like which group would more enjoy it, um, you know, which group really wouldn't. So yeah, I'm going to do things like that. Uh, 
first impressions, it's really nice. It's got a really nice smooth flavor. Now it's already producing nice clouds and I just put the coals on. Now you guys saw me put them on. Uh, the wind cover's still on, but probably won't be for too much longer. Yeah, you know, everything's there. I get the berries, I get the creaminess. So, um, for the name and how uh, well the name fits with it and also the name itself, uh, that gets a 9 out of 10. I like the name, Berry Creamy. Uh, you know, it's a little bit of a play on words. And, um, yeah, it's it's a nice flavor, you know. I could, uh, I, I'll definitely enjoy this uh, sample, but... Now, I've only tried a couple of the uh, Hookah Free flavors, um, the No Mojito, Long Island Iced Tea, um, Tom Collins, uh, Big Melons, and I think Banana Hammock uh, are all ones that I've tried, and I know a couple of those they don't even make anymore, and they've all been, they've been okay, um, but this is, uh, this is pretty nice, as far as overall taste, As far as overall taste, I'm going to give this a, probably about an 8.5 out of 10. It's, uh, it's actually really enjoyable. It's really nice. You know, it's, it could be stronger, but obviously, you know, the person who made the mix uh, on Hookah Pro obviously has no power about how, the, how strong the taste is or any of that. Or maybe the taste will pick up if the bowl heats up more. Um, but anyways, yeah. Um, so this has been the first sample I've reviewed, very creamy, for the Freaks Blend Off 2011. Um, again, overall score, uh, marketability, almost got, um, I think that could sell pretty well. Um, you know, like I said, the name is pretty attractive, uh, and the taste is really good. So marketability, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Um, so overall, probably for an overall general score out of 10, I'd probably say, uh, Probably about an 8.5 out of 10. So uh, this has been a really good first sample. I hope all of them are like this. And again, I've, I've smelled all of them. You know, I've opened them up and smelled them. And some of them smell a little off, to be honest. But uh, like I said, with Hookah Freak, uh, smells can be really deceiving to taste. So, uh, yeah, this has been DJ Saint, HookahPro.com. And we will see you guys later.